Okay, cool. So we can get a single level, and we have a mixed demon's soul, which only makes one thing. Yes, only one thing. The needle of eternal agony. And many parts ago, well, after a previous part, I went and upgraded all the weapons I'm going to need for boss weapons. Because, um, you know, duping and such. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to grab a level, I'll make a cut, and from then, I'll meet you back at Ed. So we can do some shenanigans there. Let's fuck it. This is becoming plus five. It's happening. Let me just check one thing first of all. Now, in terms of how this is going to work out, um, I'm not going to make promises, we are but I indeed. think I'm only going to go with one up, one max weapon from each upgrade path. So I'm going to limit myself to one maximum crushing weapon. Um, so this is what I'm carrying the whole game, I guess. Ah, that's kind of lame, actually. Fuck it. I'm probably not going to do that. I'm just, I'd be lying if I said that. Alright, one more point of strength, and I'm in that magical sweet spot I was talking about. Alright, see you in a bit. Wait a minute, hold on, what am I saying? Now we beat the boss, hold on, what the fuck am I saying? Pronounce hold your soul. Huh. Now, there's meant to be something down there, but I guess that's it. Hmm. So this is what I was talking about. Items in the Nexus. Wow, good fucking thing I remembered. Me? Yeah. Ah, oh, there we go. There, that's it. I've never actually done this before, so... Now I'm gonna be on the level with you guys. You know how I said... said <laughs> you know how I said you heard as a merchant? Well, he's not. I am indebted to you for your help in Latria. Without it, I would not have made it back to the Nexus. Now I can go on with my work. And for that, I must thank you. Now, there's some other dialogue you can get later on. What is it? I have no business with you. Not yet. Do not be concerned. Life is hardly as precious as one might think. There we go. Sorry, there's some other dialogue Life you can is get. Hardly as pre um, but that would require to keep Yurt around. So, if it's not plainly obvious, Yurt came back upon beating the boss. We also discovered two random corpses in the Nexus with souls. So, um, hey, Lautrec. Navlan. Um, no one in three. Egon's the closest thing. Life. Alright, so I'm interested to know. I have read that fighting Yurt on that tower does not fuck your character tendency. Boy, I am hoping it does not fuck it here. Alright, Yurt. Well, what have we here? Do you wish to die so soon? Come on. Character tendency is all okay. Maybe it's the kill that'll matter. Aha. Uh -huh. Anything else to say? So yeah, he can fast roll on that shit. I'm pretty impressed. Why you? Mephistopheles was right about you. Mephistopheles? Who's that? The blue mama. And we have not fucked our character tendency. Hurrah! It might update after we leave. I don't think this was here until then. Probably not. So, Gloom Armor, let's have a look at that shit. A Gloom Armor. Unisex, thankfully. A black iron helm worn by Yurt, the silent chief. The two horns on the headpiece are its chief characteristic. You get it? Because silent chief. <laughs> uh, mm. A portion of the complete armor set which has an extremely high level of adhesion. The black iron robs the wearer of his or her body heat, 
causing them to shiver and breathe out cold air. Its heaviness slightly impedes stamina regen. Very much so. This isn't as bad as the brushwood set, but still. That said, look how fucking sick we look. I kind of think... I'm kind of thinking of this as like the proto Black Knight set almost. I mean, obviously Lautrec as well, but yeah. Let's have a look. How heavy are we? Fuck. Again, we can just move. Okay, yeah, no dice. In that um, in that video I made of Valetria Ambience, this was the chest piece I was wearing. I might have been wearing some some of the other pieces too, but I can't remember. Well. We won't be needing the Fragrant Ring, so yeah. Let's pop on. Let's go the whole way around. For this. So we are going to be losing a bit of stamina regen. But this is actually better than what we had with the Lever Armor. So honestly, I'm cool if this is what I'm rocking for the rest of the game. I fucking love this armor. Actually, let's have a look. That's got to be too heavy, right? Oh, no. Okay, now we're as bad as the Lever Armor. But man, we look sick. Ah, oh, he lived. Oh well. Yeah, no, that doesn't look as cool. Okay, guess we're wearing this. Alright, meet you guys at Baldwin. What be your need? If it be a blacksmith, then show me some coin. If not, head straight for the door. Nice hey, math actually moves. So here we go. The needle of eternal agony. 2020. Or 6 2020. Not a lot of damage though. Needle of eternal agony. A large curved needle with barbed stingers. Or stingers. If you're not illiterate. This weapon was forged from the soul of the demon man-eater. It stabs its target, hooks into the flesh, and slowly grinds away at the soul. <coughs> Could it symbolize the relationship between the host and the snake within the man-eater? Hey, you know what? So maybe, eh, maybe man-eaters are direct, indirectly responsible for the snakes in blood war. Sure. All done? Let me go. I walked alone. Okay, now his mouth just kind of moves anyway. <laughs> Alright, well. So you need two for this bad boy, so yeah. I won't upgrade the other one for now. So look at that fucking jump. All done? 348 397 Now to be honest You know, I wouldn't blame any NPCs for freaking out and thinking holy fuck yes Except the part of like what assassin uses a great axe and a great shield That's a real question I kind of I kind of wish and this is pro probably super blasphemous I kind of wish we could get rid of the little hit flaps either side. It's one of my gripes with the um, Xanthus set in Dark Souls 3 as well. It looks cool for some, not so much other parts. You, you do that guys. Alright, see you back on the way to 3-3. Three, three. Yeah, no context required. Yeah, I tried to do some shitty, deep sound and voice. Um, as I said, shitty sounding, so... There's a reason I'm not doing it. I just like the idea that Patches looks at, looks at us and goes, Uh-oh. Oh, uh, oh no. Yet, yeah, yeah, it's come for me. Uh, anyway. Artzone of a demon man-eater. Masses of flesh litter these hanging prisons. Latria's current master, an old man who is no longer human, has been creating his own demons. Sorry, let's do that again. Demon. No, that's shit. And the devil's cry. 
Oh, that was intentionally garbage on purpose, I swear. So anyway, we're back. Um, yeah, time to go fight the boss. The old man himself. The king in yellow, the old monk. Now, y'all might be wondering, how can we fight an old man? Ignore that, by the way. <laughs> Ignore the fact I'm obviously planning something with anti-magic field. Now, um, fun part. Up ahead, as I mentioned. Uh, good times. Good times ahead. So let's whack this on. Oh my god. It's happening. It's fucking happening. Alright, so I guess I gotta explain the gimmick. Um, so, if you put down a sign or you try to invade anywhere in Latria, what can happen is, you will be pulled into the boss fight. As the boss. So I alluded to Half Light at the start of this section of Latria. Um, Lat uh, yeah, Half Light is a redo of this. So somehow, I guess someone seemingly guessed, or am I might be wrong. I could be wrong. Maybe this is just what plays, regardless. So you're going to notice something very similar, if well familiar, if you're familiar with Dark Souls 1, 2 or 3, and you made it a, a decent chunk through those games, you'll notice a particular piece of attire. Yep, there we go. He's looking hollow as fuck, isn't he? He gives his life force. So yeah, the whole gimmick is... That thing controls. Um, that thing is technically controlling the old monk. Okay, I overshot my mark there. You know what? I totally overstepped my bounds because no, that's not what's happening. We have not been invaded. I just kind of was hopeful. That cuts in place when you walk across that threshold. Alright. This looks cool though. Just play some good, the bad, and the ugly with this. I fucking love this armor. It's awesome. Yeah, so given I've just spoiled the gimmick, and like, look, I cut, I could have cut it out and pretended I didn't talk that entire time during a cutscene, but I said some lore stuff, so we might as well go off it. We're gonna put this on because the lizards. This staircase exists solely to pad out some time. To get to the top so someone can find you and invade you. Yep, yes they do. So there will be a lizard right in front of a black phantom. So this is why I'm saying hopefully you can beat the boss first go. Yeah, also it's not very apparent now but you probably noticed since we put the armor on we are clunking yet again. Like when we were wearing a fluted set right at the start of the game. Hey buddy. Uh-huh. Alright. So there you go. Okay, now I think that's the first lizard, is it? No? That's these fucking bugs. I'm not going to be this careful every time, assuming I die. I've come very prepared for magic shenanigans, should I be invaded. That's kind of weird. Okay, I guess we're not going to be invaded. Maybe? Well, actually, no. This is bloody weird. Oh, there we go. Yep, so there we go. Good thing I had that ring on, I probably would have died. Or been close to death. Are you fucking kidding me? Right. Nice. So I must have scared one of the lizards, I guess. Unless there's... Okay, yeah, no, this is the boss room. I mean, hammer's pretty good. I guess it's for stunning reasons. Well, okay, unfortunately, um, no invadee. So, old monk. Yep, this is the default version. Um, what that crown will do, 
is it'll increase magic damage they deal. Um, now the old man, well rather I guess the, uh, the yellow itself, will make it so, occasionally, yep there we go, soul, homing soul mass. Wow. And he get, they get exponentially more the longer the fight goes on. Now, I don't believe um, anti-magic field will affect it, uh, so that's not why, that's why I'm not bothering. I just didn't want to have to deal with an, with an invader and get cheesed. So that's a fight. Somewhat of an anti-climax after what you've been through. That was meant to be a Half-Life 2 reference. Ah, uh, so yeah, that's Latria. Hey, now look, don't look, hey, don't look at me like that. I didn't get invaded. What was I meant to do? I actually showed off every mechanic I bloody could have during that fight. Other than, oh, we can break chairs. Yeah. So the cool thing with that boss is, if you get summoned and you win, or even, you know, even more simple, simply, I should say rather, um, your prey dies on the stairs, you get that crown. Wait. Y yeah, no, I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Yeah, yeah. It's definitely, you get it if you kill it. Oh, sorry, I hit the mic there, just the base. Um, anyway, I'll repeat that because I probably cut that out. You 100% get the headpiece if you kill um, the host. I'm positive you get it otherwise, but... Oh yeah, um, you hear that? So once, once you, oh sorry, wow, um, I had that loud so I fucking threw myself off when I was starting to talk. So yeah, um, once you kill three archdemons, the music changes, it goes all jizz lobber by, by faith no more. I've not seen you of late. <laughs> yeah, but you yeah, haven't, mate. So Patches will update his stock for new moon grass. He'll also sell white arrows, which we got with the um, original white bow, not the one we got from the Phantom. That's pretty cool. Fine, fine, fine. I can't make you. Though I know you'll come back soon. Of course, Batches. Thou seeketh so then Okay, we'll have a chat to her and see what she says. Okay, we're past the threshold. Fuck yeah. Oh boy. Oh yeah, so I mentioned this ages ago. If we were to get one more point now, we would take a little less full damage. Um, well, from falling. Well done, me. Um, but 16's all we really need for this playthrough, so I'm not too worried. Now, the part I'm not too sure about is, I don't need more magic, but it would be cool to have some. But I'm thinking, right now, some extra endurance would be awesome. Art thou done? Because I am basically a strength build. <laughs> Let's just have another chat again. I keep the can no, okay, nothing. I shall I am here okay, so... One thing, I meant to comment on... Let's just take a second to appreciate how nice the mixed soul looks. The one above. I like that. Yellow demon soul too. Alright, so we're going to dupe that, because there, there is a fuck ton of stuff we can make from that. I think... Next to, well, the last boss of Valley of Defilement, you can make the most stuff yeah. out of uh, that soul. And I think Valley's about equal, if not, maybe you can still make more, I don't know. As in, more from the Yellow Demon soul. What's the hurry? Yeah, no matter, so yeah, I know. Alright, so time to show off everything. Yeah. Now, there's definitely one or two things I will not be able to use. 
The annoying thing is, we're gonna have to head back to Ed, so that's another thing I have to fucking cut. Again, I'm really sorry that when how that did. Actually, why am I talking to you, Baldwin? I don't need you. Um. Some. <laughs> what? How do I can't imagine what it takes oh, shit, to slay a demon. If only I could assist in this fight. That was new dialogue. My fault. If only I could. Shit. Sorry. Um. Hmm. I was comes to worst, if you really need to know, you can either pause the video or look on the wiki dot. That would be my sole advice. So we need a catalyst. First and foremost. Um, while we're at it. Thank oh, please. Thank you, Thomas. We shall take How many do we need? We should need yeah, five in total is what we, we should need. Yeah, I forget as to what um, Thomas says. Deep inside. Okay, yeah, nothing there. No entry. I can tell. We'll you. talk to Bior in a sec when we head over there. See if he has anything new. Now, Urbain, do, do you give us anything? Banish. Yep. Here we go. Miracle from the demon old monk So banishes black phantoms near the caster to their own world. This miracle is a countersign against the insane old man who summoned and enslaved black phantoms. So I believe they need to be like right fucking next to you for this to work. God, Umbas. Now let's have a look what this animation looks like. Yeah boy, Urbane, you were worrying if I consort with the magicians. Fucking look at me now, man. So we can't even use it. Cause no invaders. Huh. Righty oven. Sorry, let me just do this. Yeah, I was totally gonna cheese it. If it was another player, if they were gonna be a dick, I was gonna cast it. Um That's the wrong one. If it was someone just wanting to have a fight, yeah, no problem. But if if it was someone who was gonna be a total dick about it, I was just gonna fucking anti magic field him. Fuck him. Plus this might have been the only video on YouTube with actual footage of uh, Anti Magic Field breaking the fucking game. Where? Well, where the limits your own power? Yeah, I know. That would have been a nice little claim to fame there. Are you here for more? Very. Yes, I am. Now, which one do you teach? Yeah, soul first. Soul from the demon old monk soul. Slaying enemies yields more souls when in effect. This spell gives the user a first for souls. Taking as many as possible from the target. The caster's behavior mirrors that of the demons. 200 MP. Fucking Thank you. hell. I... You know what? Hold on one sec. I, I swear to God. If the demon is cursed, free... Yeah, no, okay. I owe my... That's going to say what I fucking think it says, right? I'll give you props for at least being different. At least it's not sticky white stuff. If that's anyone who saw this vid, or these vids, props. <laughs> Thank you for changing it up. If not, well, hey. You. Crosses say Hearthstone next to Freak. Homing Soul Arrow. So we can show these off. Let's consort with Freak. Well, I actually can't. I can't show off soul first. That fucking sucks. Oh well. Spell from the old demon monk's soul. Well, I changed that, but whatever. Produces a soul arrow, but tracks its target. The old man was nothing more than a medium for the robe that drives men mad. This spell reflects the old man's nature to yearn for the power that was not his own. Bring me back. Now, if this targets Freak, I will laugh and at the same time be incredibly frustrated. Because there's at least one more spell we are going to get. So, because we only have 10 magic. Yeah. We only there's get one orb. Hey, buddy, look at my one orb. See how clever I am? I'm a wizard. <laughs> Goddamn wizards. Yeah, we can't even attempt to use soul first. 200. Let's just whack it on to have a look. Yep, no dice. 
What a surprise. Well, that sucks. Oh well, yeah, I guess if you really want to see that animation, go watch a magic confirmation. There's got to be one out there somewhere. Meanwhile, one last thing to go make. I'll see you back at Baldwin. What be your need? <laughs> you know why I'm here, old man. Wooden catalyst and two the insanity catalyst. Um, spell assist is shit because we need 16 magic. A in magic? Wow, crazy. The insanity catalyst, a catalyst wrapped in golden cloth, pours from the soul of the demon old monk. It causes insanity in the wielder and drastically increases. Yes, increases the strength of spells, but halves the wielder's maximum MP. If you have no dreams for the future, you may want to place your trust in the power of the Golden Guard. Well done. And that is my dramatic rating done for the day. And let's equip and have a look. Oh fuck, that was, that was dead. Yep. So this is in that Cinder's mod I always reference. The nature of this fucking thing changes a lot. So you'll notice. We are uh, we unequip it and equip it and have a look. Our MP is doing a little dance. Hey buddy, wanna see my MP shrink? You know what? of the road. I kind of need that. <laughs> Alright, well, unfortunately, I have to head back and show you one last thing, which is the fucking description of the Archstone, and then we're done. Yay! You know, it's funny, ever since I murked Yurt, um, like what, 20 minutes ago? <laughs> um... Two out of three loading screens have shown me Yurt. One just showed me a new character we're gonna meet over there. So yeah. Cool. Anyway, last thing. The old monk, Archstone. Archstone of the demon old monk. His revenge complete. The old man withered away. Possessed by golden robes of insanity. Two weeks to... Hmm, I think I was hitting something there, but I fucked up. Too weak to be a demon's vessel. His soul was eaten and devoured and etc. Um, Lovecraft reference, yes. Anyway, that's all for today, gang. Um, another demon dude. So that's all these art zones done by you and you. Now, I'm planning on doing this next. Sorry, we'll, we'll try it again without a voice crack. I'm planning on doing this next. Also, yeah, you might notice. I didn't point this out. Ever since we've been slaying the Archdemons, these have toned down. These circles. These anime sigils. Yeah, what do you got to say, buddy? Yeah, but unfortunately, no dice. Have a like, though. Um, I'm going to start going back and cleaning up the Black Phantoms. So we've got Skurva to worry about. Who I'm probably going to cheese with anti-magic field because he fucking casts some bullshit. We've got to go save Private Ridiel. Black Phantom Satsuki and we've got to do the Makoto in general. And there's, well, technically two Black Phantoms, but only one is going to impact our character tendency. Which did not get fucked up by Yurt. I just want to point that out. So I guess the next part is probably going to actually be saving Private Ridiel. Which will take like no time at all. And then, yeah, Black Phantom cleanup. I want to, at one point, just for the sake of it, I'm probably going to head back to 2-1. Oh, sorry, 1-2. I'm going to fucking take out that red dragon. Um, now that we have a fuck ton of arrows and we have a ton of poison. Whoa, whoa, what the fuck are you doing, man? Poison cloud, super good. Just got to get the dragon fly through it and we can fucking spam arrows like a madman. The madman we have become, for we are now Yurt himself. I fucking love this animation though. Anyway, we're done for the day. My voice is going again. This was clever. Um, like and subscribe, all that good stuff. That's sarcastic. Don't feel obligated. You being here's an Yeah, you being here's enough of an ask.
Thank you very much. Cheers for being cool. Catch you later. Get over here. And... I bid you adieu.